tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. One time, um, our, our kids used to be teammates in Ateneo. Um, and then um, I, we sat together. Um, and then he said, uh, hey, Jerry, would you like to... I have an idea, you know. Because um, there was this time my son was going up against another boy from our rival school, which is La Salle. Um, shout out to Loy and uh, Maricel Hugo. Um, they were going at it, my son and uh, Loy. Um, and then later to find out, I knew pala the mom. Uh, the mom was a friend. So parang, um, I, so I told uh, Jerry na, let's, let's come up with the camp wherein these kids will be friends now, high school and then college. And then, you know, um, net for them to network at this age, which was about two and a half years ago, uh, when they were around 10. So, yeah, wow. that's how it started. So, so and Jerry, the the whiz in, in, in Pro-X, um, put it all together. Of course, aside from uh, making sure that the kids have fun and that they fall in love with the game, you know, but we said, you know what, there's a lot of opportunity to raise the bar and there's a lot of, you know, that business phrase, best practices that we could yes. apply. Yeah, so yes, that's, yes. that's, that's how Pro X came together. When, when uh, Dodo first told me about the whole concept of Pro X, what I what was struck me was the fact that uh, aside from basketball being the core sport of the camp, is that you also instill other things like you know like networking and and remarkably when the pandemic started, you were even able to donate funds. To Mayor Isco Moreno, so you know, and the kids got involved and all that. So that's it's like basketball with a heart. No? So that struck me as something unique, and it's a it's a great story to tell. And like I said, normally I, I interview people in the arts and culture field, but tonight it's really different. We're gonna go into the sports camp world, which we've never done before, and uh, I'm quite excited because you also have. Young, we also have the young kids now, the ambassadors of POEX that we will introduce to our audience later on. So if they look back, uh, the kids will always look back at those moments, those special moments when they really felt that, you know what, I have a crack at my dream. I can make my dream a reality. And if yeah. my dream, and, and if my dream, you know, um, will be supported by being part of POEX, then you know, I'm, I'm. It's a big boost to uh, to uh, to someone who's young at a tender age in their formative years to meet their idol. So I, I... they don't call me coach; they call me Tito, which is which I love more. <laughs> which I love more because I treat them as as my own. Eh? Um, yeah. Really, really. When we're at the camp, they come up to me. Some would call me coach, but most of them would call me Tito, which I love really. Uh, I had so much fun with the Pro X boss. And, Did you meet uh, any superstar? Yeah, Chris Newsom for Nong Chain and Camp Nong Pro X. Yeah, and then the you What's your takeaway by joining joining the camp? You know what? What is the most fondest memory that you you have of the camp? Um, when we were all together and having fun sa camp po. Yes. How about you, Chris? Um, what's your What's your best memory of the camp, and who did you meet if, uh, among all the basketball superstars? Uh, my favorite moment for the camp was getting to know uh, a lot more people, uh, because there's a lot of personalities there and a lot of people that can help you in the future. And I also met Chris Newsom. I I he's been my idol for a long time. I've been watching him since he played for Ateneo. Um, I can say that they need to work hard every day so they can improve on their game and yeah, that's all. So I just work hard and then don't stop until you're at the top. Because once you're at the top, you can relax when you got all the money already. Yeah, but beyond that, how about uh, you, Rocco? What's your advice for uh, all the young boys out there, boys and girls? Because I know the pro -X also as girls, what do you what you want to share with them about what you've learned as part of ProX? Um, 
like what Daryl and LeBron said, just work hard every day, don't quit, and just inspire others. Yeah, okay. Finally, Chris, what's your advice to the young kids out there who want to get started in basketball? I would say po, set a goal and try and work hard and achieve it and just yeah. keep going from there. You know, your, your, your parents must all be so proud of all of you to have young sons who are so uh, great in, in sports, have the right values, and are able to share the message of sportsmanship uh, and not to quit because, you know, uh, it's important to be steadfast and, and look at your goal, establish a goal, and work hard to reach your goal. Right, kids? Yes, Paul. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.